Hi, it's Andrew here from Those Cinema Guys. Today we're south of Perth and we're here to do an upgrade on a sound system or on a room. Uh, a fairly spectacular room again. This one's equipped with four MK subwoofers, uh, pretty much in each corner of the room. One of the best places to get that four sub configuration. There's one hiding under here at the left of the screen, one hiding here under the right of the screen. And if you follow me over here, just next to the Terminator, we've got uh, the third sub and of course there's one uh, equally placed in the other corner. Coming down to the rack, we've got a 250 watt channel Parasound, um, which is being uh, controlled by the uh, Integra processor, and of course we've got a Furman uh, linear power conditioner, which is making sure that everything's kept clean. Our job today is to really boss that bass, to tune it right up, and to give this room the upgrade that it deserves, and to do that, we're going to be using a mini DSP. This is a great piece of equipment. It gives us basically full EQ control over each of our four subwoofers in the room. So we can just polish off uh, that, the LFE channel, get those, those uh, bass responses in this room working perfectly. And shortly, you'll see a video of us going about that process, recording the sound, and then applying the corrections uh, that we need to the subwoofers to make this thing just right. What we've done to uh, carry that out, we've got multiple microphones throughout the room. This gives us some spatial averaging. So there's one in the sweet spot here. We've got them at varying heights and positions throughout the room so we can pick up some of the modal changes. And we're using uh, the iAudio interface and the Audio Tools suite. If we come down here, uh, we've got the multiplexer so we can run on uh, a choice of microphones or we can uh, take the input signal from each of the microphones uh, and then they're averaged uh, across the room. So the exercise went really well. We've installed the, uh, the uh, Mini DSP and uh, that thing's just really, really sweet to work with. Uh, controlling with the laptop was a piece of cake. We could basically look at how the room's behaving, dial the changes we wanted into the system and the system just behaved accordingly. It was absolutely fantastic. So we've done the calibration with the Mini DSP as we said uh, just now and using the laptop we were able to dial in the EQ that we wanted and then we could actually copy that across to each of the inputs. So if I take you through a quick walk, we've got the input, uh, the main input gain here. We've got uh, two input channels, the crossovers associated with those, and then each on each of the input channels, we've got a parametric EQ for the two outputs associated with each individual input. And uh, we were able to make adjustments to each and every subwoofer in the room. So the result's been, as I said, uh, absolutely fantastic. Beforehand, uh, the orange line here was the original bass response. So we can see here that from about 60 hertz roughly, it then just dropped off quite dramatically. That's the orange line here that we're following. So after a bit of work, now looking at uh, the, the line from approximately 80 hertz, where of course the crossover occurs, and we follow across here, we can see that the green line's almost perfectly flat. And in fact, if we spread that out, we can see what an incredibly flat bass response we've got, even from 19 hertz upwards, all the way through to the crossover. So we're really, really pleased with the response. We've just been listening to some uh, test footage, and uh, I must say the, the result is really, really sweet. We've got some very tight, very neat bass in the room. The other thing that we found was that uh, uh, when we listened uh, to the sweet spot, and we listened to the averaging in the room, we noticed there's some slight changes, we made some minor corrections, and the beauty of that is that now we know that throughout the room the bass is incredibly even and we haven't sacrificed any quality in the sweet spot at all. So overall, we're really excited about the results here and now it's time for us to sit back and enjoy it. So thank you for joining us and uh, once again, uh, the Cinema Guys taking you on another journey through cinema calibration.